Our next presentation is from Light Panels. Alan Apatian is going to uh, make the presentation. Um, Light Panels is a Vitech company, and uh, they have so many different brands. They're all great. They're also providing us with our uh, tripod heads. O'Connor is another Vitech brand, so I appreciate that. You work with both brands. Uh, can you tell us about the newest uh, light panel? Absolutely, thank you. Yes, we are part of the Vitech group, as you mentioned, O'Connor. We also have Anton Bauer part of the mix that's kind of supporting all the power for our lights here on the stage. So the Astra is the next generation of our original one by one that kind of helped set the wildfire of LED technology that we see today and a lot of companies pushing the envelope and, and we've really seen the technology take a, a lot of uh, great advances. You know, when the LEDs first came out, they were kind of green or magenta. Now we have really good quality LEDs out there, high CRI, high TLCI, and, and I think we're starting to see some really valuable tools that we can use on the market today. So speaking of tools that we have, um, different lighting instruments, we offer a, um, a couple of different types of um, lighting um, tools, like I mentioned. Uh, the panels being very popular, um, the Astra, we have um, the Astra bicolors, we have daylight versions as well. And I mentioned the technology moving in a way where you're able to do a lot of different things. For instance, while, I w while you were introducing me, I did, um, I did pair the lights to my phone so you can control them. So what's, what's really cool is we have the Smart Light app um, that's available for, for download. And, and we have modules that allow you to update your Astra so you can control them from your, um, from your phone. So it's kind of meant for the person that's operating the camera and instead of having to leave the camera position each time they want to make an adjustment to their light, they'll take out their iOS device or iPad or iPhone and, and control the light from their position so it'll save time for them on set and they won't have to go and leave the camera to make those small adjustments. So what I did was I connected these two lights um, to my phone and what you can do, which is really cool, is you can, you can group them together as well. So you could have multiple groups um, and you can control more than 10 lights. So um, what you're probably thinking to yourself is, is this available on the Android? And what the Android has is limitation in controlling more than one, de one device. So the Apple iOS um, system allows you to control more than 10 lights. So um, if Android does make that update, then of course we'll introduce that to the Android as well. Um, That's for the iPad as well. Correct, yeah. So any um, iTouch as well. So a lot of different um, Apple devices you can use to, to kind of uh, control, your, uh, control your lighting. So um, really, like I said, a convenient way if, you, if you're uh, tucked into a, um, a rafter or something like that and you're not going to run DMX cabling because we have those modules as well then the uh, Bluetooth device is, um, is a good option for you. So um, just kind of going into it, you'll go into your, um, to your iPhone and you have, like I mentioned, control of the uh, intensity. And you can go from zero to 100 and daylight and tungsten. And because these are, um, they have a dual cooling system, um, the active with the, with the fan, um, we're getting more output if that is an issue for sound or something like that, you have the ability to control the fan as well from your phone. So what, when you do cut the fan off, it does reduce your maximum output by about half because we want to maintain the consistent um, thermal management to make sure that we're not overdriving the LEDs and, and, and burning up your phosphors and such. So when you do that, you'll see the output go, it, go uh, reduce in half. So you have that ability. As I mentioned, you can group them together and um, what you do is you basically just cr create a group, you select the lights that you want to go into the group, and, um, sorry, you just select, and you can name the group, and that's, you can name it hair light, you can name it kitch kitchen room, whatever. It automatically just kind of creates a, a generic name, so it's group one. Click the create button, and essentially you're controlling both lights at the same time. Um, so really cool, handy device. Um, and I know I'm kind of going a little bit too far into the panels. I'm going to give some love to the Fresnels because we definitely think a mixed lighting solution is your best approach to be able to craft and tell your story. And um, our Fresnels are available in either daylight or tungsten. And they both have the uh, ability to control the dimming and also the focus. And you can do that manually on board 
or with the DMX um, through the in integrated um, DMX module that's kind of uh, implemented there. Now, um, you can basically cut and shape light just like you can with a, a uh, traditional Fresnel, but obviously you're getting the benefits of LED with the low power consumption. As I mentioned, we're running Anton Bowers on these, so you're not really tethered to a wall, so allows you to set up, tear down really quickly. As I mentioned, the benefits of LEDs, you're not getting that heat, so once you call wrap, you basically pack them up, ready to go, and you're on the freeway headed home, so really good stuff. Um, and I did mention to Jim that I want to mention as kind of like a, um, a sneak peek, for instance, we're gonna be introducing new versions of these lights at NAB that have about 40 to 50% output, so getting, uh, getting a lot more punch out of these lights. So just think about um, a 1K essentially running on a battery, um, a, a 150 watt hour Anton Bauer. So really cool stuff. And, and we, if you guys are gonna be out there, please come say hi. While you're here, come over to the area to your right and I'll be happy to answer any questions and talk about some lighting. And look for the NAB video for light panels to see what's new. Yeah, but it's always great to have you out there and, and you're with your one man band and the, the Smart Light app might be a good option for you. If it's, it's available. <laughs> always, yeah, we always love to support the DCS. They're always great to us. And, and um, so it's a great community that's sharing and, 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 and helping each other out, basically. Thank you very much, Alan. Great, thanks everyone.